It's time for refreshment. <laughs> Hello, Georges. Bonjour. <laughs> we are the wine ladies, mm -hmm. and we have a glass of Pinot Noir for you, which we understand is one of your favorites. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a Canadian wine to honor a Canadian champion. Congratulations on the fantastic movie. And did you know, Georges, that the Pinot Noir is the healthiest grape of all the grapes, filled with antioxidants? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing, we, we had to meet you because our, our trainer is also Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu um, gold medalist, <laughs> gold, and he always says to us that we're not, st not supposed to enjoy a glass of red wine while we're training. But now I know and go back to him and say, well, George St. Pierre says it's okay to have a glass of wine from time to time. So there you go. <laughs> well, once, a day, once a day is all right. More, we than, all, more than once. We only have one, though. It's all right. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you very Cheers. much. Now I have a question for you. With the um, mixed martial arts becoming so mainstream, um, especially I guess with the advent of the reality show and with your great success and such an ambassador, uh, if there, were, if a, a young man wanted to get into the field of mixed martial arts, where would you suggest that he begin? A young man, I will tell him to stay at school. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> the main thing I will tell him. There's only a few percentage of people who does it. That's the first thing I would say to him. Mm -hmm. Then I would say, if he's very, very young, I would tell him to to develop his athleticism. I would tell him to do gymnastic. Gymnastic oh. is the best sport to develop his athleticism. And maybe later, around 12, 13 years old, I would put him in a martial arts school. Okay, so and is there which which kind of schooling would, should he begin in, or does it matter? It doesn't matter. It's up to it. Me, I, I started as a karate guy. Some mm -hmm. guy is wrestling, some guy is uh, jiu-jitsu. It doesn't matter. It could be uh, everything. What, what fit you the best? I okay. need to know how high you jump, because I was <laughs> impressed in that movie. I, what, 10 feet? Seems like 10 feet to me. No, I, from an aesthetic position, like I mean, no step and from static like this, I can jump on a on a 54 inches uh, run. Wow. That's why I doesn't matter. Wow, that's almost six feet, is that right? Six feet. No, fi five feet. 54 inches. Yeah. 54 inches. Oh, wow. And also as a role model for the for the, uh, the the young the, the young folks that are getting into it. Um, how do you feel because the sport is a, is a little bit violent, but it is a sport. So how do you feel as being uh, portraying yourself being portrayed as a role model for the, for the youth today as well in that regard? Yeah, but my, my sport is violent, but I'm not I, I am not a, a violent person. No, no. Okay. I think it's important that people understand that it's like a, anything else. Like I, I have a job that I do, mm -hmm. and after when I'm finished working, I'm a I'm a human being. Right. Well, we certainly saw that in the film. And do you ever get scared before you go into the ring? Every single time. Really? Absolutely. And you have an enormous, beautiful, big heart. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers to well, your success. You. Cheers to all your wonderful future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.